hopefuls. And a few weeks ago, I had the dear pleasure to decorate and plan a wedding with the Hawkins family. And I was so glad that Miss Patricia reached out to me. I also was assisting Faith. So Faith had been working on this for a while now and I came in three weeks to the day. <laughs> so I had to get my ducks in order. So we were on a budget with this wedding. The theme was rustic and the you see the candy bar here. It was a collaboration of my ideas with Faith ideas and I just use a lot of those same candy dishes that I used in another video and just added new ribbon, some flowers, and some greenery. And I just used a chalkboard that I already had. Miss Patricia ordered this backdrop for the pictures from Oriental Trading. And this is just a greenery piece that I have in my living room. Here's their cake and their knife set. I believe it came from Walmart. It was so pretty in person. That cake is beautiful. And here is Dewana's bridal portrait. The groom's little brother was the DJ and he is a DJ in Charlotte, which I thought was so cool. And they also have musicians and a drummer because it, music is a big thing. Darren is also a drummer um, at the church. So um, they definitely had to have their music and Faith was in charge of doing the tables all the guest tables so this was her creation I am so grateful for all of the women of the church of DCL Deliverance Cathedral and they really helped me out um, decorating these tables and at first I thought it was maybe too much greenery but Miss Patricia saw it the next morning and she said she loved it and she picked up all of the greenery from Dollar Tree Faith um, ordered it in bulk and you get I think three different varieties Faith also created the numbers on the table with her Cricut and a lot of the runners that were on these tables were from Oriental Trading I'm not quite sure where um, Faith got the lanterns where she ordered those from to save on money, we just put tool and some flowers on every other chair. in charge of the bride and groom table, also the bridal party. And I picked up these words from Amazon. And if you follow me on Instagram, I showed where I created the flower arrangement here. And we had some extra greenery. So what I did is I used some of the greenery Faith ordered and I used some wire ribbon. Usually at the end of the greenery, it's a circle or a loop. And I just put about eight or nine strands on that and just set them up under the crate arrangement and let them drape over the flower and then added some flowers in. I should have recorded that, guys. And I was so busy, guys, doing so many things that their table setting is not, I'm sure is not accurate, but it's still nice. I like these. Here's our extra bouquet her throwaway bouquet that I created for her and I just pulled some things that I had from home just so that um, so that we could save on money because I have like a rustic thing going on in my home so also these arrangements they came from my dining room area I created these using some of the new flowers and some old arrangements I had also these baskets I will try to show in a DIY video coming up. I use, picked up this Mr. and Mrs. sign from Amazon. I will try to make sure I link it below. And then I also DIY this as well and show you guys how I created that arrangement. And actually these little candle holders are actually spice jars and I just put burlap around them. 
this was their dance floor area and my hubby he hung all those for us they wanted something hanging from the ceiling so they already ordered them i believe from oriental trading so this was also the parents table and miss patricia ordered those chargers i'm not sure where i want to say ac moore's and also the pa um, pastor's table Bridal party area, it was non groomsmen, non bridesmaids, and I created these centerpieces that I also recorded that I'll show you guys out of these larger mason jars, and then also the milk bottles as well. They are from Dollar Tree. The runner here is actually from Walmart, and the little scatter is also from Amazon. I'll try to link it below. So we had to fit everyone in this space and what I would advise you if you're doing an event is to make sure that you plan, make sure you check, double check your measurements of your space, set out your tables if you have to and just line them up how you will like them. My husband, he was so sweet. He helped me out so much. I don't know what I would have done without him. He hung the mesh around the poles and my son did the entryway, which I forgot to show, and then also hung the ivy that they wanted around the poles as well. My son did a so-so job with the rocking chairs with tying it. I didn't have time to check behind him, but um, he did help me out. What I also learned in this process is to have a team. And also as part of that team, the Hawkins, they have so many talents. Um, they also cater food as well. And so his aunt and uncle, they did the food and it smelled so good. I think they had chicken, a veggie platter or watermelon, um, fruit salad. They also had some chicken salad or tuna salad. And also Ms. Hawkins, um, his mother, the mother of the groom, she wanted to cover up this board. They also catered to senior citizens at this community center and it was a lot of announcements on this board. So we just covered it with the craft paper from Dollar Tree. We added their silverware here. I brought my tear galvanized tray from home and they wrapped the cutlery in doilies. greenery from home and I just brought it home and brought it here and added to it. Faith also created the their guest signing book and also their gift box back there in the back. And what I learned in this process guys is to make sure you allow yourself to have time to plan for a wedding. Make sure that you have a team that don't be afraid to ask for help. I like to do everything myself and it was the first time I worked with someone else and also I needed help. There was no way I could have did this size wedding by myself. So don't be afraid to ask for help. And most of all, just check, double check and check behind yourself. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I really enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.